Welcome to Homebrew Wednesday number four. Woo! <laughs> you, you want some hops, Lamb? No, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I got hops, Lamb, the other day. Fine, fine, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you drink this instead? Ah, oh, I can do that. Thanks. All right, all right, all right. Woo! Today's beer is uh, Josh Secor's Citra Cascade Centennial APA. Link to him in the doobly doo. Mmm. Only slightly buttery. I'm just kidding. Caramel. It's been cold as balls around here, just about everywhere else in the United States. Uh, not much happened this week. Basically, it was so cold that I had to pull my beer inside into the laundry room. Uh, we pulled some samples and let's uh, travel through time and let's look at the gravity readings I, I did. As you can see, the Bavarian Hefeweiss came in at about 10, 12. That's, I think it's, it's, it's final gravity, so we're just gonna give it the rest of this week because I'm lazy, and then we're gonna keg and bottle uh, it up at the end of this week. Uh, so we'll have the board, board report in a few weeks once we get some carb levels onto it. Ton of uh, yeast and suspension. Uh, I, I didn't, uh, I pulled from the middle valve and I didn't dump yeast yet, so that's to be expected. A lot on the nose. And it, uh, it's got a clove flavor now, but it's not super strong. It's about where I want it. Um, I think once this carbs up, gets cold, obviously, and um, gets some carbonation level, this is going to be a, it's going to be a good one, I think. We'll see. They do. Last week we brewed that West Flanders Sour, and it's been fermenting pretty steadily ever since. It finally looks like it stopped yesterday. So let's travel through time again. Let's take a gravity reading. Um, so here we go. As you can see, that it, it's at about 10, 10, uh, 10, 11 ish right now. It, it, it got pretty low pretty fast. Um, I don't know if you can see from this pit, this camera angle, but there's a lot of carbonation in here, so it's been fermenting pretty hard. There hasn't been a pelica forming yet, um, but you know that takes time. So we'll see. So let's let's try this thing. The clarity is outstanding. Um, this is probably the clearest beer I've ever made. And the smell, I mean, it's pretty young sour, so it's probably not gonna smell like much. It actually doesn't smell like anything at all. And the taste, it's very, very malty. And not much to it. So, you know, it's a sour. Gotta give it a good six months before it's gonna really do anything, but um, it lo it's looking pretty good so far. I think everything made it over. You know, we'll see. Well, that's about it. Not much going on around here. We're just kind of watching things happen and uh, giving a little bit of time. We're probably going to brew in about a week, week and a half, uh, keep things going around here. So, uh, really quick shout out to Under the Table Brewing. Thanks for the shout out, guys, and uh, link to them in the doobly doo. So, yeah, new boys. We'll see you on the flip side.